All right, uh, welcome back for another video. We're kind of coming to the end of March of Mini Mates. Uh, I'm really uh, have been enjoying myself and, and uh, glad I did everything because, uh, yeah, I just uh, challenged myself to get, uh, you know, 31 pictures out uh, consecutively. I haven't done that in a long time, I don't think, maybe since last fall, which I'm not yet done yet. I should be counting my chickens before they're hatched. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're basically, uh, I think this is day... Uh, this might be day, let's see here, uh, 27 maybe. Um, but it's a scene with monsters, uh, and I always wanted to, to revisit these guys when the the Disney Plus special came out, the Werewolf by Night uh, that had Man-Thing in it. Uh, it was, if you guys haven't seen it yet, you really need to check it out. It's probably, it's one of the best things Marvel's put out uh, in, in the last couple of years. Uh, just basically a, a story with, uh, what's his name? He's named after a tog. It's... Uh, Jack Russell uh, and Man Thing, uh, it's just great. I just I really like it. It's only a fifty minute uh, short, and and what you see of of Werewolf by Night in there is absolutely amazing. It just it, they just did such a great job on it. Uh, and like I said, I always meant to get uh, back to these two uh, to do a shot, and just never got around to it. Um, you know, and and now that we have our scene with monsters, uh, here's our two monsters. Uh, and basically we have that rolling grass, you know, putting it up on a lift. Uh, so it's much easier to to get the horizon in and get all those tombstones in and, and everything and that dead tree. And then this this uh, moon back here is actually just a cutout uh, that's tacked to my, my star backdrop. Uh, that worked out pretty good. Uh, and yeah, just uh, these, these two, the tombstones are from... Uh, Michael's craft store and just kind of scattered about uh, to where they're going to fit into the picture. Uh, like I said, turned out really good. Really happy to have these two up here. Um, I don't think I have much else to say about it, but uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, well, let's go on to the next uh, shot, which I believe is uh, pictures with machines. All right, guys. So our next shot, uh, we actually, there was, our next day was seen with machines uh, that... Uh, shot was actually done on the Young Avengers box set review. It should be my last video. Uh, go ahead and check that out for that shot and just check out uh, that picture in general, um, or that video in general. Cool pictures on there of the Young Avengers. Um, but, you know, this March of Mini Mates, uh, the next three days are actually uh, original Mini Mates. <clears throat> and uh, basically... Uh, it's been pretty depressing <laughs> around Minnesota this year. Uh, I don't know when uh, climate change is going to kick in for us, but uh, it has not been like the last five years. We uh, have had uh, like one decent spring. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's like April, like on what, Saturday, like in, th in two or three days. Uh, and we still have like three or four feet of snow in the yards, even though it's been kind of warm this week. Um, there's still just a ton of snow around outside. Um and it's depressing, like, I love hiking, and I actually really do like winter hiking, but it's been long enough, I don't know, we're like on the 800th day of, of winter uh, this year or something, um, and it's just getting ridiculous. We also have blizzard uh, conditions coming Friday, I believe, uh, with significant snowfall, um, and it's just, it, just, it just stinks, I'm tired of it, I'm, I'm, I'm over it. Um, I'm ready to feel uh, dirt, sand. Uh, rocks, tree roots below my feet again when I'm out hiking. Uh, I think I've I've talked about that before too. I'm I'm big into hiking. Uh, there's tons of parks here, uh, and I just absolutely love uh, the solitude of being outdoors. Uh, and yeah, I'm just I'm I'm done with it. So <laughs> so uh, yeah, good old Minnesota. Um, but uh, I was trying to think of a shot, original shot. These are always difficult. Uh, and I think last time maybe I've done, I think it's last time we did March of Mini Mates a couple years ago, I think a civilian shot was me just hanging out in the woods hiking with uh, some squirrels or something. Uh, and this this shot, uh, yeah, it's uh, me winter hiking because uh, this god-awful winter will just not end. Um, you know, it's supposed to warm up to blistering uh, 43, 44 degrees, 45 degrees on Sunday. I, I, I just can't wait. Um, yeah, it just... I, <laughs> It stinks, guys. Minnesota's awesome. I love the state. I'll never move out of it, I don't think. Uh, but uh, just the winters have just been so long, like, the last five years. It just, Especially for a guy that likes to camp, too. I, I'm also a yard guy. Like, 
uh, I bought a house seven years ago, a uh, very big lot. And it's not like a half acre, but it's under a half acre, maybe like a third, you know, four tenths of an acre. Uh, and it was a sand lot when I bought it. Uh, and I'm slowly transforming it into a forest uh, in my neighborhood. Like I've, I've planted shrubs and trees over well over 100 plants, uh, shrubs, trees, uh, wildflowers, garden, uh, as many different species of trees as I can get. Uh, I will be, uh, this used to be all farm fields where I'm at now. Uh, I will be the person that brings uh, squirrels to our neighborhood with the forest I'm, I'm building here. And I still got tons of room to go. But I, I'm ready to get out uh, and, and touch grass, as they say, instead of ice uh, and snow. I, I, I got to wear cleats if I go hiking right now. Uh, snowshoes, we're kind of through the snowshoes where we have uh, tons of snow, but uh, I wear ice cleats. I wear ice cleats at work when I'm working outside uh, just because everything's so icy right now. Um, but you know, just, just doing a little ode to that. Um, but yeah, I, 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 you know, it's time to move on. So I did a cool shot, uh, using this, uh, jacket from, uh, mini mates. They, they actually made a rescue set. At one point in time, they came out with a bunch of sets that were like SWAT team, fire department, uh, rescue team, uh, in the jacket really makes for a good winter jacket. Uh, I have a staff that's from Mbaku. I kind of want to cut off that ball at the end just so it looks like a walking stick. Uh, and then some good boots. Uh, I am wearing, I just noticed I'm barehanded. I should maybe get some black gloves or something like that uh, before I do wrap this shot up. But uh, just filling in some pine trees, my my sky backdrop in the back, and then these Playmobil trees uh, right up here. Uh, or surrounding me or whatever, and then I took a couple rocks and tried to cover them in snow. It uh, looks, doesn't look the best, but it uh, looks good enough. So, uh, Anyways, let's go on to one more. Uh, actually, we got two more March of Mini Mates shots. I think that's what this video is going to be all about. Let's go to the next shot. All right, guys, I can't even tell you uh, how much I've wanted to do this shot. Uh, this this playset here, it's some kind of click-and-play military playset. Uh, that I got off Amazon. I should maybe just link it actually uh, in the comment in the description of the video, just in case any of you guys want to check it out. But it's like a military base. It comes with uh, actually some towers, or excuse me, a tower, uh, GI Joe scale, like vehicles and stuff. Honestly, I haven't even taken anything out besides what you see here. There's like a door that snaps onto these these fences, um, and I've been looking at this thing for quite a while. I don't know why I didn't pull the tr trigger on it. It was like 40 bucks. Um, but I've been wanting to do this shot forever. Uh, you know, so staying in line with created characters, uh, for the March of Mini Mates, you know, last couple days, uh, this one here, uh, is basically, basically I've always wanted to go back and day, do Days of Future Past with a, a whole storyline. Uh, I did not get around to it. I thought I would get around to another storyline this winter like I've done before, uh, and I did not. Uh, so you will see this shot if I ever actually do get around to it again. Um, but basically we have the mutant uh, internment camps. Uh, threw in a bunch of mutants. Mostly uh, kit bashes, but I did throw in a couple recognizable ones up front. And the, the, the funny thing is I put so much effort into kit bashing like five or six uh, mutants. Uh, and never... <laughs> Never, you're not even gonna see him. You see uh, Cannonball, New Mutants, Cannonball. You see Black Tom Cassidy, but you don't actually see uh, any of the other figures. Uh, there's some more Sentinels in here too. Uh, you don't see them either. But uh, the, the the shot still turned out, and basically it's this random blue skinned uh, character, obviously a mutant, um, and he's kind of second guessing: should I run? Uh, the Sentinels have already picked up on it. Uh, they got their, uh, what would you call it, the the tendrils, I guess, uh, already extended. They kind of know he's going to run, uh, and he's kind of second-guessing, uh, getting ready to, to make a run for it. But, yeah, I just uh, making basically a tunnel with this fence, uh, and then using that gate. You know, There's actually a door that snaps on that I, that I completely popped off. Uh, I thought it sw swung up, uh, but it actually swings sideways, which kind of screws with the picture, screws up the picture. So I just popped the, the door off uh, completely, which works very well. Uh, the restricted area uh, sign works very well. You can see one of my giant custom sentinels in back, which is, is great. I actually had him next to the fence, uh, outside the fence, and you couldn't see him. 
Uh, so, you know, we, um, I ended up moving him back just so you could kind of make him out a little bit, uh, get that torso, the, the light in the middle. Um, and just the, the picture turned out great. I'm, I'm very happy with this, uh, especially for just making up characters. Uh, actually, some of my, probably my favorite picture of all time is actually a Days of Future Past uh, picture where uh, mutants are walking towards the camera on the left side uh, of the fence line uh, with these smaller mute, uh, smaller sentinels watching them. Uh, sun fires up front and he's got an angry look on his face, but th that is my favorite picture of all time that I've done. Uh, it's from probably from like two, three years ago or something. It's 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 from quite a while ago. Um, but yeah, you know, otherwise we still have one shot to go, um, which I think what we'll do is we'll do an ode to my fav one of my favorite parts of Mini Mates, uh, and that is, of course, uh, the different expressions. Uh, you know, we'll do a couple civilians with different expressions on their faces. So let's go to that. All right, so here is... Um, you know, my last, uh, March of Minimates shot. And basically like we, you know, like I've discussed before, this is, uh, the last three days are make up your own character. We had the random mutant from, you know, the last shot and, and we had my own, uh, narcissistic, uh, self portrait of hiking in this miserable cold that we have in Minnesota for the other one. Um, and this one, obviously we have, uh, Frank sitting here, uh, you know, Frank Castle, but um, I wanted to do an ode to, uh, the faces, like I've talked before on plenty of, uh, videos about how much I love, uh, the, the, uh, you know, how, one of the big reasons why I love Mini Mates is the faces. Uh, you know, you can take a figure, swap the head out in a matter of seconds, uh, and swap the hair piece out. It's one of the things that we have over Marvel Legends. I mean, Marvel Legends, they don't have nearly nearly the variety of heads but you can always pop off a head uh, just to kit bash a uh, civilian or something uh, but mini mates completely other uh, completely different ball game I mean we can uh, swap out hair pieces we can you know, swap out heads uh, you know and it just it adds so much and they have so many different heads for for mini mates they got plenty of screaming heads they got this dead face you know that's laying face down on the ground we have one for a female. Uh, we have scared faces, we have uh, angry faces, we have screamy faces. Um, you know, we just got a, a huge variety. And I, I've talked about in some of my previous videos about how much I absolutely love the fact uh, that uh, Mini Mates, that, that, that just is a game changer for Mini Mates. Like, you guys know I collect Masters of the Universe. Uh, you know, they recently did that with He Man where they gave us a shocked face and then a screaming face. Uh, and then they just stopped. I mean, we got a couple of Skeletors, uh, but I really wish they would have kept going with maybe the smiling or laughing face on He-Man or something. Uh, but, you know, I don't think we're ever going to see it anymore. Uh, but I absolutely love that about Minimate. So I, I just wanted to do a picture that's kind of an ode to that. Uh, and what we have here is, you know, two gangsters on the run from Frank Castle. Uh, and he's already got one of them down. Uh, and the other one's hiding behind a dumpster right now. You know, screaming at Frank that, you know, you'll never get me or whatever, you know. And, uh, yeah, you know, we all know Frank's going to get him either way. I thought about trying to come up with a picture that would implement more uh, faces, but uh, I just couldn't come up with anything. But uh, this works well. And I haven't I haven't done a Frank Castle shot in a while. Like, I'm, it's it's long overdue. So, uh, but we do have, you know, this, this alleyway with a couple dumpsters, or with a dumpster, a couple barrels. Uh, in back behind Frank, we have... Um, you know, a car that's obviously crashed and, and the front end's on fire or something. So that really adds to the picture itself. Uh, the one thing that I can't really do in this video uh, to show you guys that when I took the picture is uh, this picture is much better from the ground, as low as I can possibly get it. And the only way I can get my camera that low is if I take the picture from uh, the camera being straight on the ground. And of course, the the ratio screen ratio doesn't work for YouTube, uh, so we're just kind of doing the the wide screen shot, uh, you know, for this video. But it turned out really well. Uh, you know, we'll have both walls in this picture. Uh, it always makes great for alleyway scene. I think I've done multiple uh, Frank Castle alleyway scenes. Uh, but yeah, we have our lights. We have our our lights to from the top, and then yeah, I just using one of these. Um, 
Ulanzi lights to light up the front end of that car. So we have that flame behind uh, frame for the picture. So anyways, guys, um, March of Minimates wrap up. We're done. Uh, everything turned out great. I'm very happy with uh, this run. I'm very glad that uh, Minimated on Instagram put all this together uh, and kind of got us back into it. Don Barosis did it a few years, started it a few years ago, but he kind of, he never continued it. Uh, and I'm really glad that uh, Minimated, uh, you know, got it going again this year. So, you know, go find him on Instagram. He's Minimator, uh, you know, Follow him, like his pictures, really cool guy. Uh, but otherwise, guys, uh, check out the description of the video for my Instagram and Facebook links. Hit the like and subscribe button. Check out some of my other videos, my playlists. Uh, tons of mini mate, fun mini mate stuff there. Some Masters of the Universe, Origins, if you like that. Uh, but otherwise, guys, we'll see you at the next video. Bye now.